Welcome back to the Underground. Today I'm going to show you how to configure a Unison processor and specify what rack and processor type it is, which can be handy if you receive a loaner processor from us while we're repairing your unit. It's a step that we ask you to do in the installation instructions. To select a rack type on a Unison CMED, CMD, or CMEI, or CME processor, you'll start by accessing the hidden menu button above, located above the N on Unison, just to the right. Press and hold until it says Menu Stat on the screen. You're going to press down, then it'll say Menu Control Rack. Now here's where you're going to want to note what sort of processor it is on the side, and when you press Enter, you're going to match that control to that type of processor here. Once you have that set, you can then change the rack type to whichever you're using. So here we're going to start keep it at a DR12 because we have 12 D20 modules in this rack but it could be a DR6 as well, so those are your options there. Press Enter. As you notice, I kind of went a little fast there by mistake. You'll want to note the voltage type. Here's where you could set the different styles of voltage all the way up to delta or 277 volts, but we're going to keep it 100 to 120. Press Enter. You're going to start this circuit numbering uh, start position. We're going to keep it at one. That'll also affect your DMX start in the beginning. Press Enter. And now here's whether we know it's straight or balanced. For the most part, a lot of our unison racks are straight, but if you notice numbering that's out of sequence, change it to balanced. Then you'll press enter. It'll bring you back around. Once you're set, you can hit the exit button, change it to yes. And at that point, it's gonna update the rack and you should be good to go. Thank you for watching.